Hi, let's build a web page and we'll use everlane.com as our inspiration. The Everlane homepage has a hero at the top with some copy and a button, and then it's followed by some columns, another hero, and some more columns. So let's get started. In builder.io, on the content tab, you can create pages by clicking on the new page button if you've never created a page or the new button. You can enter any name you like here. Let's enter products as the name of our page and it will automatically fill out the URL field. Click the create page button. We could choose a template, but we're going to do this with the blank starter page. So our first step is to add that large hero image that's on the home page. On the left in the insert tab, we're going to drag a box into our page. So it's empty, it's just a box. So we need to put some stuff in it. So let's grab an image and drag and drop that in there. And let's put a picture in there so we have something nice to look at. Click on choose photo and let's choose a sweater image. This one will do. So now what we need to do is add some text, right? So let's go over here and grab a text block, drag it and drop it into the image. Our image collapsed when we added text, but that's okay. I'll show you how to adjust it. One of the things that will be helpful as you build a page out like this is to look over at the Layers tab. In the Layers tab, we can see everything that we have on our page and how they are nested. So right now we have our box and we have the image and then we have our text inside of that. When it's inside of the picture, the picture collapses. Let's make sure we have our image selected and go over to Style and let's give it a minimum height of something a lot higher, like 500 pixels not 5,000, 500 pixels. <laughs> okay, and now for our copy, we need to be able to see it first of all. If we click on our text box, then we get all of the style options over here on the right hand side. And the first thing we want to do is change the color. So let's bring it to nearly white. That's pretty good. And let's make it a lot bigger. Let's try 50 pixels. On the Everlane homepage, they have the header right in the middle of the picture. If we select our text, we can come over here into the Align section of the Style tab and we can center it vertically. Let's get some more copy in there. Let's drag one of these text boxes out and drop it underneath there. Make it a little lighter and let's make it 25 pixels. So now we need to move our new text up closer just underneath a header. So to do that, we can go over here in the Style tab, and we can click this up arrow under Align. You can see that that doesn't do exactly what we were thinking by putting them together like they are on the Everlane homepage. So we have to make a little bit of an adjustment. We have to go back up to our header and click that. Let's use the down arrow to push it down, and that's in the Style tab in the Align section. Click the down arrow, and that pushes the two together. Our next step then is to drag in a button. So let's go over to the Insert tab, grab a button here on the second row, and drag it right underneath our second bit of text. And there we have our button. The default button is blue and super wide, so we need to bring the size down a little bit and change the colors. Let's go over to the Style tab again, and we can change the fill color to pretty close to white. Now, in order to see the text, we need to change the font color. Let's make this really dark gray. Go down there, there we go. The next step is to make our button smaller. In the layout section, we can give it a max width of 200 pixels. <laughs> I like these zeros, 200 pixels. Okay, great. Now we need to center our button. On the right-hand side in the Style tab, we have a few options in a line. So let's center it horizontally. Now we have it in the middle, but we need to push it up a little bit. Let's go over to the right a little bit where it says Align to the top side and push it up just a bit. There we go. You can adjust a lot of this. If you scroll down to the margin and padding section, you'll see where all the sizes are specified. So those icons we were just clicking do things like adjust what's in these fields. We might want to inch it just a little bit closer. So let's get rid of this margin top. If we click the down arrow, you can see that you have a few options and one of them is remove. You don't want to remove all because that will mess up all of the other settings we just put on there, but you can remove this top one. Let's check out the preview to see how far we've come. In the upper right, 
you can click on the eyeball and choose View Current Draft. Our hero is getting close. However, it doesn't expand all the way to both sides of the viewport in the browser. So let's fix that. Back in Builder, let's click on our image to make sure that we have it selected. And then over on the right in the Style tab, we can look in the Layout section. Under Width, if you click the down arrow, one of the options is Full Page Width. So select Full Page Width. And let's go check out the preview again. There we are. So our image is the full width of our viewport, which is exactly what we wanted. Let's look a little more closely at this button. As you can see, I adjusted the text that's inside of it. But if we look at the Everlane button, it's a lot wider. Let's go back to ours and let's make ours wider. I pulled the font size down. We could go probably a little bit more down to maybe 20 pixels. And let's look down at the padding. The margin is the space on the outside of an element. The padding is the space on the inside. If we want to adjust our padding here, if you hold down the shift key and you hit the up arrow, it will increase by 10. So I'm increasing it right now. And you can see the effect that that has. Now let's make the padding right also large. Let's make that match because right now I have a padding left of 85 pixels. And let's make the padding right also 85 pixels. It's a little bit restricted. And can you remember why? It's because of the max width that we put on it earlier. So let's scroll up and take a look at the max width and play with that a little bit. We have a max width of 200 pixels. Let's try to make it 300. Now you can see that the button is a lot more like the button on Everlane. That completes part one of the getting started. Continue to step two to learn how to create the next part of the page.